Shells of Technique Beach, and we're finally going to do the Ion Show of Death as we get blasted. So uh, here's what we got. We got an X-Ball game going on in the background. And we have the obviously the bone stock ion. Now for this show, we're actually going to use an Ion XE, okay? The biggest difference between the bone stock ion and the Ion XE is the one, the bolt out the back, which was my biggest issue with the stock ion, okay? The stock ion did not have the bolt out the back. So what a lot of people, uh, you know, when they went to take apart their gun to clean their gun out, they ripped eye wires, they stripped out their banjos, this, that, and the other. Now you've got the bolt out the back system. Drop the bolt out the back. We're going to show you about that here in a second. Also, it, it, instead of using the standard ion, three, uh, ion threads, it uses the, uh, it's now called the Ion XT threads, also the same one as the Shocker NXT. So here what we got here is the bone stock ion and actually the ion xe isn't too bad of a gun okay um the you know the bolt out the back obviously makes a huge difference i'm still not a big fan of these feed necks okay i don't like these um, feed necks at all we're gonna go through and completely update this gun let me show you guys some of the things that we have in store for you on the ion show of death um, love custom products. We're going to get all matching parts from custom products. We're going to have the CP barrel 14 inch 693, one of my all time favorite barrels on the market. They're selling right now for 30 bucks. Um, the CP clamping feed neck, amazing feed neck, nice and lightweight. Custom products regulator, what more can you say about the custom products regulator? Um, bulletproof reliability, everybody knows about the CP regulator. Um, everyone uses them, everyone loves them. It's probably one of the most sought after aftermarket regulators on the market. Custom products trigger, we're gonna get rid of this little plastic, you know, dinky stick trigger here. We're gonna go with a nice curve, custom products trigger. Also got the uh, custom products. This is the, the 2009 Pro ASA. Uh, this ASA, very easy to turn it on, turn it off. It's very small, very lightweight. Then we're also gonna go custom products rail. We're gonna throw that on there. That comes in handy. Uh, depending on what size tank you use. If you use a smaller tank, you can slide your, your ASA back. If you use a bigger tank, you can slide it forward. Awesome rail. Uh, pretty much goes across the whole entire bottom of the grip frame. So you've got a lot of adjustability. It's got three points to uh, hold your ASA on. Really nice rail. Also, we're going to go with the nice CP uh, gauge. Why? I mean, there's not really anything wrong with the smart parts gauge, but let's go with the CP gauge anyway. All right, something else we're going to do. We're going to start getting into the heart of the ion, and we're also going to install the uh, Tech-T L7 ion bolt. This thing is really cool. I think it has like 7 grams of weight or something like that. It's supposedly one of the lightest bolts on the market. We're going to definitely put that one in there, test that out. Then we got a whole bunch of stuff here from Virtue. We got the brand new Virtue OLED board uh, for the ion, which is really cool. We're going to put the QEV in here, and we're also going to put the uh, laser eyes in there. And uh, that should be a really good combination to work together. So you, probably one of the first upgrades that I would do to an ion, absolute first upgrade before I upgraded anything else would be the feed neck. The reason why is the loader, one of the most expensive things that you use. Okay, you got your tanks which run about 150 bucks. You got your loaders that run anywhere from 100 to 150 bucks. But if you use the, um, you know, if you use the stock one, you don't ever want to sand down a hundred dollar loader for feeding that you can replace for 30 bucks. Don't ever do that. Don't, rule number one, Mike's rule number one, don't ever sand down your loader. It's not a good idea. Um, so let's go ahead and put the CP, uh, the CP feed neck on here. Now you can use either red or blue Loctite. It's up to you. Um, for this, I'm going to use blue Loctite. But this is, this is, in my opinion, probably one of the first upgrades that I would start with. So we're just going to get that snugged on there. There we go. So now we've got ourselves a nice clamping feed neck. It's going to suck. <laughs> and, uh, you know, now, well, i got to loosen that up a little bit because the Pinocchio has a little bit of a... We're going to loosen this up a little bit. Loosen this up just a little bit more. Once we get this all the way loosened up, I can't believe I haven't been shot yet. <laughs> so, so there we go. We have the CP feed neck on there, and now 
this gun is set up to upgrade, you know, to, to put any loader on here that you want. The Halo, Reloader B, anything that you want. That's gotta be Kitty over there shooting at us. So there you go. First rut upgrade I would do would definitely be the feed neck. Ow. So we got the feed neck on here. Let's get our loader off. So the CB feed neck has been installed. The next thing I would probably upgrade on this um, would probably be the barrel. Okay, now they put this 12 inch barrel on here. The next thing I would definitely upgrade would be the barrel. So we screw that on there. Now we've got a nice feed neck, a nice barrel. This trigger is, it's okay. We're gonna get to upgrading the trigger here in a second. But now we've got a nice feed neck. It's gonna hold all the loaders on the market. We've got a good quality barrel, so we're gonna be shooting straight. Now let's start getting into some other things to update. Next thing I would probably update I think would be the trigger. I would honestly probably update the trigger before I updated the board. Why? The stock board works pretty well, okay? It's, it's, it's not my favorite board. Obviously, Smart Parts has got a major financial incentive to um, put these kind of boards in here, but the stock board works. You can get the most out of your stock board by putting an aftermarket trigger on the gun. So let's go ahead and get into the guts of the gun. Now usually I would have all of my tools all spread out here, but we've got a nice wind right now here in Tampa as you can feel. And we tried it and all my tools were blowing all over the place. So let's go ahead and pull all this apart. Now when you're pulling off the, the stock trigger, you're gonna need a hammer and a nail to punch out the stock trigger. So we've got the uh, the stock grips removed. Let's go ahead and carefully remove the battery. Now a trick if you own an ion so you don't rip the battery harness, what I use is I take an Allen key, I drop it in between the prongs here and then I just twist it. Pops it right off. A lot of people have a tendency to try to rip off the harness and when they try to rip off the harness sometimes they can rip the wires here. So now what we're going to do, let's go ahead and remove the grip let's frame. Let's go ahead and get the screw out. Now what we're doing is this is typically the magnet adjustment screw. There we go. Frame goes through the back here like that and the ball head right there. And that's how the spring tension works. So move that out of the way. There's our shim. So let's go ahead, put the Allen key through it. So you can put the Allen key through. And we're just gonna back this down into the gun. There we go. Okay, so we have to put the we have to put the metal shim on one side, plastic shim on the other, and the locking screw on the other side. And then you have to take all of this and carefully slide. all of this into the gun. And now you may need to take an Allen key on the other side, maybe a small Allen key. And wiggle that around. There we go. There we go. Now we're going to drop the spring. All right. <laughs> Got it. So now we have 
the custom products trigger finally installed. All right. So we got the CP trigger installed. Very cool. Are we okay? We it looks yeah. like there's no one back there playing right now, so I can take my mask off for a few minutes. Next thing we're going to install is we installed the trigger, got the trigger in okay. Trigger feels great. Now we're going to install the Virtue Board. So let me show you how to install a Virtue Board. There we go. What we're doing is basically popping off these stock barbs. Okay. And now we've got, this is the brand new Virtue OLED board. So what we're going to have to do is you're going to notice you're not going to see any hoses or anything. So what we got to do is there's a, a, a retention clip here that holds all of, uh, that holds the, uh, I guess that would be the piston inside of the coil. So let's go ahead and pop that off. Okay, so we slide that back. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and put this. Okay, so we got that put in. And now we're going to carefully install the retention clip. Back onto this one. There we go. So you have to pull that, that big C-clip off, pull the piston out, put the piston in there, drop the, uh, um, the whole uh, manifold here into the top, and you're good to go. So now that we got this, we can go ahead and set that aside. So we pretty much have got our Virtue board assembled. Now what we're going to install is the, the QEV. <laughs> Looks like they just called another X-Ball game, so we're going to have to hurry up on this QEV. And the, obviously it comes with a QEV, quick exhaust valve, and has a gasket. There we go. And I might just for a good measure, put a little bit of blue Loctite on here. Now ions are notorious for leaking, and we're going to see if we can get this one not to leak right off the bat. Okay, so we're going to go all the way around there we go and we got our QEV on there very cool so our QEV is installed let's go ahead and install let's put the back one on here now we're probably gonna have to cut this hose so we're just going to have to trim just a little bit off of this hose. So let's trim just a smidge off this hose. You always want to go a little less and trim back than to cut too much. And have to find yourself a new hose, which we're obviously not going to find out here. Cool. So I just cut just a little bit off that hose. Looks like it fits in there perfectly. You guys ready to play? Don't let me stop you. Be my guest. <laughs> All right. So we've got... Uh, the Virtue board installed. So now that we have the Virtue board installed, we're just going to slide this all this stuff back into the gun, the OLED board. Okay, now we've got our board sized up. Everything looks good there. There was one thing we forgot to install, and it was the Virtue laser eyes. Some people ask, you know, what's the big deal with the laser eyes? Well, the biggest thing with the laser eyes is, um, you know, if something's going on with your eyes, you know right away. So let's go ahead. I'm going to remove the QEV that I installed. We got it sized up perfectly. Now let's pull out the body. Out comes the, uh, the stock eyes. Let's put in the, the Virtue laser eyes. There we go. Virtue laser eyes drop right in. And this is the, of course, the Ion XE body. Okay. We'll just carefully slide this back into the gun. There we 
There we go. So we put the body back in. Now, how do you know that the body's back in? I just look at the furthermost rear hole. If the furthermost rear hole, uh, rear hole is lined up here with this plastic body, you know it's in all the way. So we know it's in all the way. Everything looks good. So let's go ahead and put back on our QEV. Just one more turn. There we go, that's lined up perfectly. Put in our virtue board. Clamp it down, awesome. Now off of our stock board, Of our stark board, let's take our wire harness, which is held in place by a little rubber band. There we go. And let's go ahead and put on our stock harness. Now it's always a good idea when anytime you're working with these Molex connectors, you always want to grab them uh, from the connector. You never want to grab them from the wire. It's very easy to pull the wires out. There we go. Awesome. So we have our our QEV is installed. Our QEV is installed. Our Virtue Eyes are installed. We've got the eye wire put in here. We're clipped on here in the back. Um, you know, everything looks like it's in place. Everything looks good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to carefully insert all of this. Let me go ahead and remove the, the stock board, put that in the box. Basically, you just got to carefully thread all this back down. Now, you always want to find the, the little groove. There's a groove inside of the grip frame that the board lines up on. And we have found that groove. Push it down about halfway. And then now is always a good idea to go ahead and let's go ahead and thread the front barb on. Now you always want to be careful anytime you're installing these barbs. You know, you don't ever want to force anything. It should be able to thread right in very easily. If you force it, you're going to cross thread it. Okay, now what we're going to do here is we're going to find the groove, the groove that the board goes down into. Ow. There we go. Just want to find the find the groove. Once you find the groove, this should all drop down. Nice and smooth. Now I feel a little bit of resistance, and the resistance I'm getting here is from the button. So to prevent breaking the button, I just push the button out. There we go. Okay, so we very carefully slid the board down. Now you might feel a little bit of resistance right here with the, uh, the button here. You want to make sure that this plastic button um, is not, you know, it's very easy for it to slip down. So what I did was I tilted it upside down and then slid the board right in. There we go. So, so far so good. Now what we're going to do we're just going to go ahead and put in the grip frame screws. There we go. Obviously there's three screws that hold the body. So let's thread down all three. 
So now we got the board on here. Let's go ahead and install the battery. There we go. Now what we're going to want to do is we're just going to turn it on. Make sure that it works. Okay, we just double check the eyes. And hopefully you can see right there. It's saying loaded, unloaded, so the eyes are working. You can even see it turn, maybe turn a different color right there. Loaded, unloaded, very cool. So our board is installed properly, our eyes are installed properly. Let's so make sure that the board is in there positioned properly. And as you can see here on the Virtue Grips, it's actually got a nice little cutout here. Uh, milled, it basically it's milled into the grip to fit the board perfectly. Very cool. So once we get, let's go ahead and put this on here, and once we get the, uh, the grips installed, and it comes with grip frame screws already. Once we get the grip installed on this side, we're going to position the board into the grip, into the cutout on the grip. Let's go ahead and remove the battery. Let's go ahead and screw the grip down. I flip it over on the other side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to position the OLED board down into the grip because the the, uh, the grip actually has some cuts cut out it milled into the rubber so that this fits down there perfectly I think we almost got it there we go so that's down there let's double check it on the other side that looks good to me Battery fits in there nice and snug. Tuck up the wires. And we are almost in the home stretch of this gun overhaul. We are almost there. There we go. So we got the board in there, the eyes in there, let's turn it on. There you go, you can see it. Virtue board is turned on. Eyes are working. You can probably, hopefully you can see down inside there. We got the laser eyes on. In the home stretch of this, Jesus. So, here we go. Now what we're gonna do is I wasn't really sure which bolt to get. Um, I wasn't really sure which bolt to get, you know, with with um, the you know with this Ion show. So I had a lot of people. I went on to the IonOwners.org or IonOwners.com. Um, great website for Ion fanatics, and uh, seemed like it was pretty universal across the board. Everybody recommended the Tech T bolt. So that's what we got. We got a Tech T bolt. I'm going to show you how to install it because when you first see this thing, when you first take it out of the package. It kind of stuns you how little there is in the box. Inside of the Tech T box, you're gonna see you have a, um, um, it looks like a plug, a bolt, and a donut. That's basically all that's inside the box. So, but I'm gonna show you how to install this and how to install it properly. It's very easy. Pull this out. Let's go ahead and push the bolt out. Okay, here is the stock ion bolt. And now basically, it's very simple. All you need to do is put a little bit of lubricant on the top O-ring here for the Tech T bolt, and then you just plunge it down. That's it. Okay. That's the back part. Top part here. Let's take a little bit of lubricant. Go on the bolt like that. So I'm just use a little bit right here while I'm using a little bit of hater sauce. A lot of people really like this stuff. It's good stuff. Slide it on there. Make sure these O-rings are nice and lubed. It's a brand new bolt, so there we go. And this thing doesn't weigh anything. This thing weighs, I mean, about as much as probably like two or three quarters. Very, very lightweight bolt. And right, we'll see how it works. So that's it. Put the put the plug down here. Top this on like that. Let's go ahead and slide it up into the gun.
clamp it down, and you've just installed the Tech T level 7 bolt. All there is to it. All right, next thing we're going to put on here, let's put on here custom products regulator. Now they ship the regulators with no, uh, with the, the screw turned all the way in. So there's no, um, there's no air pressure going into the gun. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to change that. So we've got a regulator on there. Look at that. I mean the, the weight difference between this regulator and the stock regulator, you can already feel it. Very, very lightweight regulator. Let's go ahead and remove the duck bill, the stock smart parts. ASA. We are in the home stretch of the Ion Show of Death. I'm getting excited. I am getting excited. Now obviously everyone's going to be on a budget with this. So what we're going to do here, you know I've got some other fittings. I just remember that we're going to use the same stock fittings that Smart Parts shipped. So I'm going to put this back on here, and we're going to remove the fittings. We're going to use them on the ASA and on here. Now, Smart Parts uses red Loctite on everything, which is like a freaking, it's basically like using a torch to take this thing off. Let's see if we can pop this off. Wish me luck. Nah, stripped it. Smart Parts, stop using freaking red Loctite, okay? Please stop using red Loctite. So we're going to have to use another fitting for that. Okay, red Loctite is used for engine bolts. Okay, that's what they put in like BMW engines. Okay, you don't need red Loctite on your fittings for your uh, for paintball. So let's go ahead and put on the uh, custom products rail. Now I've always I've always been a fan of direct mount ASAs, but every once in a while I'll be a fan of a rail. I usually like like putting um, rails on guns, like for my wife and stuff like that. Um, allows me to adjust the tank perfectly for her. A lot of people really. Some people like if they use a you know tall people using a 45 or short people using a 68. Put a rail on there, gives you maximum adjustability. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and thread this down. This gun's starting to look good, dude. <laughs> this gun is starting to look good. Torque that down a little blue Loctite, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Alright, let's get out our ASA. Slide on our custom products ASA. I'll probably position this back just a smidge. You want to clamp down, even though it looks like there's only two screws really spreading this thing apart. You want to clamp down all three screws. They put three screws on here for a reason. There we go. Let's pull out our plug. Now with these plugs. I usually recommend putting the hose on the right side. Most people have a hard enough time uh, shooting with their left hand or their uh, their left hand as it is. So I say you always put the hose coming out on the right side and put the little plug on the left side. This way it just doesn't get in your way, doesn't give any wrist rub, anything like that. So here we go. Drop the plug down into the CPASA. go. Got that. Let's get our custom products barrel on there. We are almost done. <laughs> Can't wait to shoot this thing. Probably for our final touch. Okay. And for our final touch, let's go ahead and put on the CP gauge. Just for the hell of it. Pull out the smart parts gauge. No real reason to put on a CP gauge on here. The smart parts gauge actually works pretty good. But you know what? If we're going to completely gut this ion, 
let's completely gut this ion and let's replace everything we possibly can. Let's go ahead and put on blue Loctite. Got it. Thread down the custom products gauge. I'm going to make sure this lines up nice and flush. Mm, there we go. Nice and flush. CP gauge fits nice and flush. There we go. What we're going to do here, let's go ahead and put on our fittings. So let's go ahead. Now we're getting into the final moments here. And I hope you guys are pulling for me that this gun isn't going to leak. Let's go ahead and get the other fitting on. I hope it doesn't leak. What do you think? You think it's going to leak? Fucking Willie. Gotta have a little faith, Willie. Dude, not on the first run. I hope it doesn't leak. I don't want it to leak. I'm not holding on. I'm a betting man and I ain't taking that bet. What do you want to bet on it? How about my five bucks versus your 20? How about your 20 versus my five? That's not going to leak? I, I say it is. My five dollars says it's good. Versus my 20? I ain't taking that bet. I'd, I would have had to put this gun together perfectly for it not to leak. So it should be my five bucks versus your 20. No. Yeah. Dude. My five bucks versus your 20. No way. What, that it is going to, that it's not going to leak? That it's not going to leak. Okay, you say it's not. I say it's not going to leak. Okay, and you're putting five dollars. Five bucks. 20. Yep. All right, you got it. All right. For you. For me. I already gave you one dollar. I guess I can contribute. All right. So we got the bet between me and Willie. This gun's not going to leak. I say it is. Now, I'm not going to trick you and put on there an empty tank. <laughs> Hold on, I got to put air in it. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see here. Fucking Willie. All right, it leaks. Let me see. Hold on, let me get some air in it. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I got to back this out. Hold on, let me see if it stops. There's no air in it, so hold on. Let me see if it, uh... Hold on. <laughs> I got your 20 bucks! No, you don't. Yes, I did. It didn't have air pressure in it. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on, hold on. Listen. Listen, it's 200 PSI. Fire it one. All right, hold on. I got to shoot it. Hold on. I don't even know what the... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to turn it on. Hold on. Turn the eyes off. Hey, you guys got your mask on? Yeah. What's the I got some. All right, so here's what we're doing. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. No, hold on, hold on. I gotta shut it off. Turn it back on again. There we go. Still shooting, dude, and it's not leaking either. <laughs> so, dude, that's a shooting gun right there. It is not leaking either. <laughs> I 
It did you see that is shooting straight. That's semi auto. That's semi auto. I'm gonna get my hold on, let me get my let me get my pads on. I'm gonna play with this. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, on the chrono, hold on. On the chrono, 280, not leaking. You got my 20 bucks. Alright, here we go. Y'all are witnesses. I said this thing's probably shooting like 290. Here we go. I say 270. 325. Oh, <laughs> 331. You get on that? Look at the consistency on it, dude. Get on that chrono. Check that out. Let me back this down a little bit. I think it's shooting hot. Hold on. I just screw this thing. Go. Oh, the thing's like like one plus or minus one, huh? Still warming up. There we go, 286. That's a field. Does that feel legal? Hey, I'm gonna get on this game. Let me get my pads on. Hold on. Now that was a balls were in the air trade. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Snake is still clean. Doritos gone. Snake is still clean. Snake is still clean. Ah, that sucks. Snake is still clean. Hey, JD, you can move up. Move up, JD. Ah, that hit. They're out. gun up while we're getting shot at but uh, we'll recap everything we did to this gun put on there the custom products trigger custom products regulator custom products barrel custom products um, feed neck we also put the custom products rail custom products ASA and also on this side we put the custom products gauge um, obviously ion XC so we put in there the um, tech T products level 7 ion bolt uh, lubed it up with a little bit of uh, of uh, you know of the uh, the hater sauce it shot great um, also of course inside it we put on there the virtue board now obviously this this board was set at 30 ball uh, 30 30 balls per second dwell of 30 um, obviously with the tech T bolt you're gonna be able to dial that down with a QEV you're gonna be able to dial that down we basically just programmed this gun and went out there and shot with it gun shot great um, you, know, you saw it over the chronograph, pretty consistent for basically a brand new gun with all brand new parts, completely upgraded. So that's about it. You know, so if you got yourself an ion, you know, hopefully this helps you feel a little more comfortable upgrading it. You know, it's a good base, it needs some work to it, but you know, with everything we did here, I mean, this is a consistent shooter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my mask on. You know, take it back over here, shoot it a little bit. 
so so as you can see you know it shoots great um, no problems with this whatsoever so you know check out customproducts.us you know virtuepaintball.com you know techtpaintball.com once again I really appreciate custom products tech tea and virtue um, you know hooking us up with the products here to do this show thanks for tuning in